Hey, how's it going guys? Zeta here. So I wanted to go over a few of the interesting details related to Metal Gear Solid Delta Remake, well, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater Remake, <laughs> and basically go over some of the interesting bullet points relating to this game. Now, also, we have learned quite a little bit of information relating to it, and of course, we've seen its trailer. Mind you, it looks phenomenal, and unfortunately, well, we still do not know of this release. Now, there were some rumblings and these rumors, and there was some kind of a, a mistake made, I believe, by GameSpot. Basically, they mentioned that this game should be coming out sometime like in November the 17th. But if you take a look at the, this year of November 17th, it's actually, well, Sunday. So that makes no sense. I believe that it's just, well, not correct information. And on top of that, November the 17th is actually the date when Metal Gear Solid 3 came out originally. So I think they genuinely was just a simple mistake and it doesn't necessarily mean anything in terms of it's actually been coming out this year of November the 17th. Matter of fact, if we still do not know of this release, I still think that actually we will get this game in 2025 instead. Hopefully it will be in early of 2025 because we got some incredible titles lined up in 2025. It is jam-packed. Regarding this remake, now it's made to be sure that people can actually keep enjoying the Metal Gear Solid series. There's actually in some kind of ways of a mention that there's a possibility that this may continue to happen. Meaning that they may be some extra things on horizon. So this may not be just the only one time deal. In fact, this may mean that we may get the rest of the Metal Gear Solid remade on purposes since they've, there was a mention that they want to make sure that a new uh, newcomers for the Metal Gear series that never experienced it for themselves now will have the opportunity of trying it out for themselves. Now, this should be interesting because they actually have mentioned also that a story in the game world is exactly the same as it was in the original, and this basically meaning that they want to stay true towards this remake of this Metal Gear Solid 3. Now, it's been rebuilt with a cutting edge to a graphics and a 3D sound, meaning that anything that you would want from a new modern game, this shall have it. That's fantastic. Now, Delta, as a subtitle, means not different, but actually more in this case. It's still kind of interesting why did they make that kind of decision to go with this subtitle instead. You may or may not know it's also been remade for, well, in the Unreal Engine 5, so you can definitely expect some impressive looking visuals. And of course, from this trailer, well, you can clearly see, yes, indeed, it looks quite damn pretty. They have put a lot of effort putting into the jungle environments and a lot of environments in general overall. Of course, by the looks of the gameplay and everything that is showcased here, it does look quite very appealing to the eyes. Extra mentioned that there will uh, be more realism in terms of having wounds and mud that you can get covered in. Basically, any of the injuries that uh, Snake encounters or has, it will be left there permanently and just kind of have a, a mark on the character what he has went through this journey. I genuinely love that. It kind of makes it more realistic to the point. And also, it's not like to say it's, it's not exactly original take as well. I think this actually makes sense for this game to have. More realistic in terms of the visual and the cosmetic, you know, in terms of how the snake will look and how roughed up he is, in terms of the scars, bullet holes, wounds and whatnot. This will look quite interesting to see how much of a progress did you go through this game without getting injured too much or heavily getting injured. It uses original voice performances. Now, original voice actors did actually come back to record some of the pickup lines, but it wasn't necessarily, uh, you know, remade in terms of having made sure that it would have been exactly the same thing. Instead, it's just been expanded upon. And of course, by the looks of things, how this sounds and how Snake sounds and just in general overall of the game, it does sound very, very similar. But I think it still has been some enhancements made. Interesting fact as well, uh, there's a little bit of unmentioned that you can choose an OG2 channel audio or if you want you can go with the 7.1 channel audio. So a little bit of a de decision that you can make within the sound quality of, it, of this game.
This game will have two game styles. This is an interesting fact. There will be a new style, more a traditional third person over the shoulder camera, and this genuinely would be my choice that I would go and play this game with. And now there's also a legacy style, an overhead camera like just it was in the OG. Now, I still do believe that the OG version of this legacy style camera will be a little bit more an advantage since you can see more, but if you use a more traditional third person over the shoulder camera, camera, well, you feel far more immersed within this game. I, I think it's actually superior in this case. Oh, uh, extra mention regarding the legacy style. It actually applies a filter uh, that the screen look a little more to the original, so there will be some kind of uh, differences in color. Another uh, very nice thing to have as an option, so you can actually play this game in terms of different varieties of control styles. You can go with more classic, that was in Metal Gear Solid 3, or you can go with a modern approach. Definitely a modern opinion, a modern approach for me is the way to go. And there's an extra mention regarding why they decided to go with the Metal Gear Solid 3 to remake that first, is due to because it's the origin of the big boss. So it kind of makes it interesting how they're gonna go with like the next game. Is it going to be like Metal Gear Solid 1 and remake of that? Because that will be quite a tall order. Now it's already been confirmed, but yes, this game is coming on PlayStation 5, Xbox, and of course PC. And like mentioned at the beginning of the commentary, unfortunately we do not know when it will be releasing. And that's all in terms of the informations that I wanted to go over with the Metal Gear Solid Delta remake. <laughs> Tell me down in the comments as well, what did you think about this remake? What do you think about, you know, continuation in terms of the Metal Gear Solid? And on top of that, there will be completely no involvement of Hideo Kojima. Hideo Kojima, this is basically child making of Hideo Kojima, the Metal Gear Solid games. And yet, you know, having no involvement within this project at all, it kind of is concerning. And on top of that, we're talking about Konami here. So again, very concerning. But I am kind of willing to give it a benefit of the doubt. But again, I'm going to be very skeptically looking at this project. And you know what? I'm still am looking forward to pick up this game. But again, I want to see more because there's always easy to do these marketings and also showing off the trailer and game parts of the gameplay that genuinely looks amazing and awesome and you just want to pre-order and play it. Again, do not pre-order. Wait. Wait for the reliable reviewers. Wait for people that you trust. Let them experience it first. Let them write the review up and then make your decision if you want to get this game or not. Because it is still possible that this all may be fake. But God, please, I hope it's not. I really want to experience this game. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. I see you guys all and have a wonderful day.